Hey, what's going on YouTube? Derek here, and I want to bring you guys a little video today talking about the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, I'm a big fan of the Switch. In fact, 12 of those games up there for a pickups video that'll be coming hopefully in the next uh, week or two. I'm waiting on a couple more things. But, um, so, I just saw some sales statistics for uh, the Switch that said it has surpassed 32 million units sold uh, in less than two years, which is crazy. It is mind-blowing how well this thing is honestly doing. Um, you know, it's about to outsell the N64, which only sold, I think, like 32.9 million. It's going to blow the 64 out the water. Uh, the Super Nintendo only did 49 million, and the NES did 61 million. I mean, it might be... It's on track. I mean, it's the fastest selling system, I think, ever. Um, it's on track to outsell the Wii. I don't know if it will, because the Wii was truly a gimmick that just, like, exploded. But it's possible. It It's really possible. I mean, it already outsold the Wii U. It already outsold the GameCube. It's about to surpass the N64. Um, hell, it's going to surpass the Xbox One. Um, the Xbox One is sitting at like, I think, 45 million, which you say, oh, that's a lot. That is a lot, but then you look at Sony, and they're at like 92 million with the PS4. So, Microsoft's going to lose this generation um, for good reason. Uh, not, not making this video to hate on Xbox, but eh, I don't really like my Xbox One, to be honest with you. I very rarely use it. But... Um, you know, so the Switch is doing phenomenal, and it is amazing. This thing has been so successful, and it's good because it's gonna have a great library of games, and you're likely to see the big titles, maybe in a dumbed down form, but we might get stuff. Hell, I, I'm still waiting, and I can't believe this didn't happen yet because it's totally possible. Uh, put Grand Theft Auto V on the Switch. I think that would fucking just blow up, man. I really do. I mean, we have people coming to work all the time and still buy that game new. Like, they're still selling that game brand new. That game came out six fucking years ago, I think. I think it came out in 2013. Crazy. I also saw some statistics that Smash Brothers, uh, if I'm not mistaken, might be the fastest selling... I don't know if it's the fastest selling game of all time, but it's. I know it's the fastest selling Nintendo game of all time. It did 12 million units. Uh, already. That is fucking crazy. In like three weeks. I mean, it's selling like a million units a week right now. That is nuts. Um, you know, fucking, I read somewhere that Smash Brothers, a game that came out in December, December 7th, only on the chart for three weeks, was the best selling video game on Amazon last year. <laughs> wow, right? Like, we're... Almost to the two-year anniversary of the Switch. And it is amazing this thing was successful. Because if you, for those that don't remember, I didn't get a Switch at launch. But I knew when it came out, the launch lineup was fucking horrible. Uh, there was Zelda, which is the only reason it was acceptable at all. There was Zelda. Uh, there was Bomberman. I think there was Just Dance. 1-2 uh, Switch. And Skylanders, I think. And that was it. Like, that was the launch lineup for, like, the first month. Pretty horrible. You know, and then, you know, the Wii U was such a failure, right? Like, it's already about to triple the sales of the Wii U in less than two years when the Wii U was on the market for uh, five. And it's crazy because the Switch is almost basically just the tablet part of the Wii U, right? Like, they're not, not a whole lot different in that, in that sense. But the Switch is doing great, and that is awesome. Now, in terms of collecting down the road, oh boy. <laughs> um, so there's all these companies now, and there's new ones all the time, stuff like Limited Run and Super Rare Games. There's a new one called Strictly Limited Games, I think, and there's a couple others that put out all these limited releases. And uh, you know, down the road, collecting for that is going to be a bastard and a half. Um, I personally uh, have four games right now actually on order from Limited Run um, that are so 
was a shit bad, I think. Like, end of March, April era, somewhere in there. But, it's great. I'm so glad the Switch is successful. It's just crazy that it is, right? Like, you know, the, the Wii U was a failure. The launch lineup was horrible. The online service, it didn't have when it came out. In a system in 2017, did not have a dedicated... Like, Nintendo subscription online service. Granted, I talked about the online service in a previous video, and I'm still not sold that it's good. But, I mean, I don't want to give my pass on it, but it, it's working, I guess. Um, and it's, it's amazing. And what's even more mind-blowing to me is, and it's a good thing, and I'm glad this is happening. You know... Nintendo really started to go downhill in the N64 GameCube era. Like, they weren't failures by any means, but they weren't... They were the losers of this of the generation. Well, N64, they came in second place. GameCube, I think they came in last. I want to say the GameCube sold the worst of the three. Pretty sure Xbox outsold the GameCube. Um, then they came back with the Wii, and it was a major blow-up, but not for the hardcore gamers. You know, it was targeted for grandparents and little kids. And most guys like me, you know, I was, what, 11, I think, when the Wii came out. I thought that shit was so stupid. And I still don't love it. You know, I don't love it enough to keep what I had for it. Because I'm not going to play it. I know I'm not going to play it because I don't want to do this. But I was at Best Buy the other day. Uh, I work across the street from Best Buy, and sometimes I'll just walk in there on my lunch break, see what's how, or see if there's any sales going on. And I noticed that the Blob 1 and I think 2 got ported to the Switch physically. That's a Wii game. That's an old Wii game. Uh, I think it's a Konami game, actually. It's actually a pretty good Wii game, but I didn't want to fuck with the motion controls. And companies are porting all these games now to the Switch that you might not have got to play. And that's awesome. Hell, I just saw the other day that Sphinx game came out at work. We got one copy. And it wasn't even a pre-order. Came out on the 29th. And that's a fucking GameCube game. That is a GameCube game. I think it's an exclusive to the GameCube. And they're porting that to the Switch. Um, I think the Darksiders Warmastered Edition, I think that's coming to the Switch. Um, there's all this diversity, and it's great. It truly is great. You know, I I pride myself on my Switch collection. I'm almost at 30 titles. I have 29. If you count the ones I have pre-ordered and paid for, I have 33. Um, but my first goal is 50. I want 50 physical Switch games that I'm going to play and enjoy. And that's the craziest part about the Switch Something about it has kickstarted the collecting bug for that system. And it's weird because I've never considered myself a collector of a current gen system, but I kind of do with the Switch. There's something appealing about those red cases that just, you gotta have it. The only other system that I've ever felt that way about that is like, all right, I need every game I can get my hands on is the NES. I had a fascination with the NES for many years. I almost had a complete collection. Most of you probably don't remember that, but I was fairly close. I was in the 600s. Of course, I still needed stuff like Samson and Flintstones. But, um, you know, I was, I wanted every game. And I've never really felt that way about any other system. I've never felt that way about Super Nintendo. Not really about the N64. Not the GameCube. But something about the Switch is so appealing. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. But I hope it continues to do well. And I hope Nintendo doesn't fuck it up somehow and make some stupid decisions. Um, and there's, you know, it's awesome. The I think the best part is like, you know, because <laughs> I'm in that group on Facebook the Nintendo Switch Physical Collectors group, you know, and I'm missing big titles. Like, I don't have Mario Odyssey anymore. I don't have Mario Kart 8. I don't have Zelda. I don't have Splatoon. I don't have Donkey Kong. don't have Bayonetta. don't have Hyrule Warriors. I don't have, like, any of these first-party AAA titles outside of Smash Brothers, right? don't have Mario Party. But my thought on that is I can get those 
at any point, right? They're going to be on shelves probably literally until the system dies. You know, they're popular enough. But all these indie games that come out, especially through like Limited Run and Super Rare, which I don't have any of those yet. I'm still, I'm trying to focus mainly on the North American stuff, unless I see it in person. But, um, um, shit, where was I going with that thought? Um, shit, what was I talking about? I just completely lost, uh, my train of thought there. Oh, you know, I don't have all these AAA titles, but, you know, it's cool that all these indie games might, although they might be in limited releases, are getting physical versions of with all these cool extras for the Switch. Nicholas is a great example of this. There are retail releases. But I'll grab one for you here. Ah, first one I have. This is the only one I have that's not sealed because I was playing this one. Uh, it's Cave Story. Now, Cave Story is a pretty indie game. But it came with a fucking manual. A little mini disc soundtrack. And this keychain. Uh, if you bought it at GameStop, I believe it was a keychain exclusive. That's pretty awesome. Like that is awesome. Um, I have Code of Princess that comes with some extras. I have The End Is Nigh that comes with extras, and it's like, you know, that's just really cool, right? Games just don't do this anymore, and they do on the Switch, and it's also really cool because most games that are going to get a physical. They never come out on the Xbox One. Mm, some of them come out on the PS4. A lot of them do, but some don't, and I do believe are like going to stay exclusive to the Switch, which is cool. Nicholas is a big supporter of the Switch. I think they have nine releases currently, and I think the 10th is getting ready to come out next month or this month. Actually, I think it's this month. I think it's on the 19th. I just read about it the other day. But I want to get all the Nicholas games, and it's just it's really cool. So I know I'm rambling. But I love the Switch, and I'm so excited that it's doing well. And, you know, this might be the biggest system ever. I mean, I'm not going to say it is. You know, it has to compete with the Wii and the PS2. But it could be close, if not number one. Thank you all for watching, listening to me ramble. I'm going to bed. I'm still sick after three goddamn weeks. And I'll see you all later. And I need to learn to look at the camera. See you later.